hi everyone and uh, welcome to my channel avme uh, guys in today's video i'm going to show you uh, how to install the updated version of magic lantern which was recently released uh, on 13th of uh, this month uh, by magic lantern organization and uh, uh, a few of you uh, who don't know what magic lantern is basically it's a firmware that opens up a lot of functionality in your canon dslr cameras and uh, like uh, focus peak zebra uh, audio monitoring uh, you can record time lapse using your camera and a lot of other stuff that you can manipulate uh, uh, in in your uh, uh, consumer level or semi pro level Canon cameras that uh, you can achieve those functions which are only uh, kept in uh, or are available in professional cameras. But uh, I'll just show you how to install the updated firmware of Magic Lantern onto Canon Rebel T4i or Canon 650D. Uh, okay, so basically, what you're gonna need is a SD card. Uh, to start with and then second step I'll show you on the Mac screen uh, what exactly you need to do uh, and how to download uh, uh, the Magic Lantern files on this SD card uh, so uh, before you go ahead first step is to format this card uh, from the Canon uh, DSLR camera so let's just jump on that and I'll show you on the Canon camera alright guys so the first step is insert the SD card into your Canon camera and open your camera I mean switch on your camera and then go into menu like by pressing the menu button right here and from here go to format card and format your card okay so once the format is uh, executed just switch off the camera and take the SD card out now second step is to copy the files from your Mac or PC which I'll show you all right guys so now just insert the SD card into your Mac or uh, your PC and as you can see right here EOS digital SD card appeared now go to Magic Lantern website and as you can see like right here for 5D Mark 3 113 123 Mark 260 70 the the all all the cameras Canon compatible cameras they are listed here and as you can see most of the nightly bills firmwares they are released like on 12th of this month 2012-03 uh, March 2017 I'm I'm interested in this one 650d Rebel T4i that's what I have and uh, uh, it was released on 12th of March 2017 I'll click on this and uh, basically these are the improvements they have made now here are the installation instructions format the card from the camera which we have done make sure you're running Canon firmware 1.0.4 downgrade if needed now Canon they have recently released a updated firmware for 650d uh, so if you haven't updated to uh, 1.05 don't do it as you can see Canon 650D firmware okay and here you go so they have released a firmware version uh, 1.0.5 and uh, Obviously, that's uh, on their um, uh, American, European Union, and Asian websites. Uh, so, if you haven't upgraded to 1.0.5, then don't do it. Uh, otherwise, you have to search on the net how to get the firmware version 1.0.4. Anyways, let's assume uh, 
you are on Canon firmware 1.0.4 and now third step it says copy ML files on the card and run firmware update so what I'm gonna do is access my PC where I've downloaded the files and these three files copy and paste into the SD card as you can see I've already pasted them so they're here and I'll set up anyways I'm just gonna delete these and there you go I'll just delete these three uh, go to trash and I'm gonna copy the new ones okay all right so once you have copied those three files just close your close the window and eject your SD card okay guys uh, I highly recommend uh, one more thing to read through the forums before you try this and uh, because you can end up breaking your camera if you don't follow the instructions properly anyways now I'll show you on the camera screen what to do next guys here is the card which I have copied the files on so just insert the card back now while the camera is switched off and turn on the camera okay now go to menu and go to firmware update click ok and click ok there you go it has installed magic lantern firmware and it's prompting to restart the camera so just switch off the camera from here to restart it and then turn on the camera and now in order to access magic lantern it's installed just press this delete button right here and it would go into magic lantern mode press it again and now as you can see you can change white balance manually you can change the ISO shutter you can achieve ISO shutter 1250 uh, which is very good ISO shutter setting for me basically with my lighting and what I record on etc and uh, another advantage is I can now access basically zebra which shows me which part of uh, my uh, capturing area is underexposed or overexposed and I can have focus peaks turned on as well now so there you go I'll just turn on focus peak I can change the settings like what color I want and uh, etc and color is I want to select red that's what I like for focus peaks and Q to get out for zebras for over or under exposed areas what I want color space luma fast I'll just select RGB that's what I like and uh, yes I'll get out of here as you can see I can now monitor my my uh, uh, audio uh, input from my microphone as well I mean that's handy that wasn't available before so and as you can see like this area right here I've turned on zebra so that's that area is overexposed so uh, if I turn down my shutter uh, sorry turned up see it's more overexposed so let me turn down see now that's gone these kind of settings you can easily do with this firmware update and uh, if I wanna like zoom in to my Mac and I wanna I wanna make sure that it's in focus can you see those red lines they're appearing wherever they appear 
and stuff that means that object is in focus and you can do a lot of stuff like you can do time-lapse recording you can do raw recording you can do a lot of stuff so just explore what magic lantern is but guys that's how you do the update version installation of blackmagic on your canon uh, rebel t4i or 650 d camera all right guys hope you have liked this uh video about how to upgrade uh, to the latest version of uh, magic lantern uh, firmware on your canon dslr camera uh, now a few of you uh, would already know what magic lantern is uh, and uh, the ones who don't know this would video, video would uh, give you an, an idea what magic lantern is and what kind of advanced functionality it opens inside your canon uh, camera uh, so there you go guys uh, if you have liked this video uh, then please click on the like icon share the video with as many people as you can and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i see you in the next video thank you